All right, welcome back to uh, part two of tonight's calendar summer special. And for the next six weeks, we're going to be bringing you a whole series of special features. So let's go across right now, right across the studio, and join Chris. Yes, thanks, Mike. We've got tonight's history detective Ian Clayton coming up very soon. And on the subject of history, we've been raiding our archives again. Tonight's film, from July 1985, and the update, which is about to follow, is a story about an amazing man. In 1967, Scottish-born Wanyo became totally blind after years of being partially sighted. And perturbed, he went back to university and actually qualified as a lawyer. While practicing law and living in our region, he completed a series of uh, well, rather mad stunts, really, certainly hair-raising, watched by calendar viewers, and so collected thousands of pounds for charities for the blind. Then after a routine operation to remove a cataract, something absolutely incredible happened. Now, Wan will join us for an update and tell us how he's been getting on in a couple of minutes, but first let's look at the film. Reporting quite a while ago for Calendar was Hugh Weeks. September 1983, and the remarkable Mr. Yeo sets off for a ride around Sheffield Speedway to raise money for the blind. Totally blind himself, he relied on the guidance of another sighted rider. It was one of several hair-raising stunts, including a hang gliding trip and a flight in a glider. He collected several thousand pounds, though for 18 years believed he would never recover his own sight. Yet today he was out of his hospital bed and reading the paper which told his amazing story. A routine operation which hadn't given him much hope has restored the sight in his left eye. He still can't believe it's happened. Amazement. Joy. Um, it's going to take me a long time to adjust to being able to see. Uh, this is only the second day. so. Uh, uh, I'm in something of a stupor, but uh, it, it, it's incredible. But it's al al already, what sort of observations have you been able to make looking around the room and indeed looking out of the window? Well, I'm only seeing things as I, I see it in my mind. I'm still thinking like a blind person. I'm still feeling things, but I can see now uh, for the first time in 18 years. And I, I see, seem to see things one thing at a time. Uh, I look, for example, out of the window, as I did yesterday, and I saw a tree for the first time and saw that it lives, it's alive, it moves in the wind. And uh, it just takes my breath away. And I look at my flowers here. Gone. And there's pure colour, uh, pure sunshine. And I've forgotten how beautiful flowers are. So. Did you ever expect to, to regain your sight? You? No, in fact, when I came in for this um, operation, for the removal of a cataract, I was warned by the consultant not to expect that anything uh, would develop vis-a-vis -vis my sight. I was told that uh, it was purely for cosmetic reasons. And what happened uh, on the table, the operating table on Monday, I don't know. They just removed the cataract, the lens, and when I came round, uh, nothing. Couldn't see anything. It wasn't until it was checked on Wednesday night and I was given these incredible magnifying glasses that I saw for the first time. I actually could see for the first time in 18 years. You've seen your wife for the first time in 18 years. Was it a, a pleasant surprise? She's exactly the same. She's exactly the same. So it was, it was a pleasant surprise because uh, the, 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 the only sad thing that's happened to me, seeing things, the first time in 18 years was seeing myself in the mirror. <laughs> I can't really believe it. Yeah, but uh, the last time I saw me, <laughs> I was a man in my 30s. I'm now in my 50s. Now look it to me. It was a complete shock. That absolutely shattered me. But my wife is the same girl, uh, dark curly hair and a fresh pink complexion and a lovely round blue eyes. She's the same girl. She hasn't changed. When you leave uh, hospital, which you're going to be doing later on today, what are you looking for to, to do most? Oh, uh, I, I want to meet all the people that I've met since I became blind and see if the visual matches up to the image I've created of them. And, uh, I don't know, I might be in for some surprises. Your life will be transformed. It's incredible. It's beautiful. It's joyous. It's wonderful. You, you pick the adjectives. Well, there was a man very, very happy a few years ago, Wan Yeo, and his wife Joan joined us in the studio now. Well, that incredible moment when you opened your eyes after that routine operation and realised you could see. Sadly, your eyesight has deteriorated a little bit, but you've had years of being able to see again, haven't you? 
I, I have, but the tales about my having reco recovered my sight are somewhat exaggerated. But I left that. It doesn't matter. Uh, I can see shapes and shadows of it that most blind people can. Oh, but very yeah, few, very, few, very, very few blind people are actually totally blind. But you had some madcap schemes for raising money. Crazy. I mean, what about your poor wife, Joan, when he said, oh, it's, Joan, I'm going to go and do a speedway riding in Sheffield, and I'm going to do one of these other silly schemes. How did you feel about this? Did you ever say, not on your life? Yes, but he took no notice. <laughs> he just went ahead and done what he wanted to do. But I never went to see, see any of them. So you couldn't stand watching the daredevil? Oh, no, I thought it was rather stupid. Oh, we're going to have a row, I think, no, on the sofa no. now. And it looks very it well, is very it's... dangerous. It was very it dangerous. It was very dangerous. <laughs> and, of course, for your work in the community, you got the MBE. That must have been a wonderful moment as well. Hey, it was a complete surprise. Uh, a wonderful moment? Yes, of course, a great honour. And meeting the Queen? Sure, great honour. Fabulous. And since we've met you all those years ago, how are you keeping busy now? I do nothing. I've retired. <laughs> Nothing at all. I, I look forward for years to being retired, and it's wonderful. I could recommend it to everyone. Oh, well, I won't be long before I'm there with you, will I? I'm really? sorry. <laughs> you don't look 65. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> see you later. Nice to see you. Yeah. What a great man. A great wife, too, I suspect. She is lovely. <laughs> now, then, one of the most uh, popular series on our Tonight programme is uh, Ian Clayton's What the X That? Have I got that right? Yeah. Right.